Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu wa salamu wa salamu We were discussing yesterday verse number 36 in chapter 2, Surah Al-Baqarah. Rada billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. فَأَزَلْ لَهُمَ الشَّيْطَانُ عَنْهَا And Satan deceived them, leading to their fall from their blissful state. فَأَخْرَجَهُمْ مِمَّا كَانَ فِيهِ وَقُلْنَا اَحْبِطُوا بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوا And we said, descend from the heavens to the earth as enemies to each other. بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوا وَلَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْتَقَرٌ And you will find in the earth a residence and provision for your appointed stay. بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوا That you will be enemies to each other. Who will be an enemy for who? Exactly. So? Yes, shaitan, the shaitan uh, and his followers and his descendants who, are, who, are, who, are, who have the same character as he does will be enemies to the sons of Adam. Just like Allah said, in the shaitan, lakum aduwun, fattakhiduhu aduwa. He is your enemy, so uh, take him or treat him as your enemy. Treat him as your enemy, not as your friend. Also, animosity will also happen between human beings amongst, amongst each other due to competition, domination, and so on as well. Uh, um, and then the following verse, number 37. Then Adam was inspired with words of فَتَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ Inspired with words, he put between two brackets, with words of prayer by his Lord. So he accepted his repentance, surely he is the acceptor of repentance. فَتَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَابُ الرَّحِيمُ So, تَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ means Adam received certain words from his Lord. These words could possibly be that Allah uh, blamed him for uh, disobedience, that Allah uh, reminded him of his uh, blessings uh, and favors towards him, um, and that the, uh, reminded him of the evil uh, that shaitan can lead him to, and, um, and uh, the damage that shaitan will cause him, and so on. And also could mean that Allah gave him certain words to recite and to repent to Allah with, this is, he chose this one, certain words of prayer. So he also gave him certain words. Some scholars say that these words are what is mentioned in Qawli Ta'ala. قَالَ رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِنْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُنَّنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ These words are mentioned in another surah, Surah Al-A'raf. They said, Adam and Hawa, they said, O oh oh our Lord, Rabbana, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا We have wronged ourselves. وَإِنْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُنَّنَّ and bestow your mercy upon us, we will be amongst the losers. So these are, um, uh, but it could mean a, any of these other meanings that I mentioned to you. Um, and this shows that the best, uh, the best prayers that we do are the prayers that we receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best, like if you want to make dua and you want to come closer to Allah, the best means and the best prayers are the prayers that we are taught in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Prophet That's why the, the most common prayer that we do daily is actually Quran, Al-Fatiha. It has the prayer, it has invocation, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem. But it is, the, the, we, it is the best prayer because it is the way that Allah taught us how to invoke Him, how to invoke Him. That's very important that if we want better acceptance for our prayers, we should try as much as we can to choose prayers from the Quran and from the, um, the sayings of the and teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. means Allah accepted his repentance. The word taba in Arabic comes um, uh, from the root, uh, uh, the meaning is that to return, to come back to, to come back to. So we say that tab al-abd, the slave of Allah, came back to Allah. He repented to Allah means came back to Allah, came back from disobedience to obedience. Also, we say, Tab Allahu Alayhi, which means Allah came back at him with his mercy. As if Allah 
became distant from him uh, because of his actions and uh, and uh, and he is now exposed or uh, at risk of being punished by Allah but then Allah came back at him by coming closer to him again and by uh, returning his favors and his mercy and his forgiveness towards him by the action of tawbah uh, for the, uh, from the from the slave and always they say that tawbah repentance to Allah is always uh, is always preceded by uh, it's preceded and followed by a tawbah from Allah. It is preceded by a favor from Allah and followed by a favor from Allah. It is preceded by the favor of enlightening the heart of the believer to the gravity of his situation and that he has to correct it. Because many people fall into sin and they don't care. They will continue to fall into sin. But if Allah doesn't instill this guidance and light in the heart, that no, you cannot continue in this situation. You have to correct. This is this is the this is the initial tawbah from Allah, and then the person performs tawbah. It goes back to Allah, and that involves multiple things. It involves feeling sorry. <coughs> uh, of course, it involves as well as having uh, an intention not to go back to to that uh, to disobedience again in the future. It involves abstaining right now from engaging in that evil at this moment, so it involves regretting what happened in the past, abstaining in the present, making intention for the future uh, not to go back, <clears throat> and as well as doing things to cleanse the effects, to wipe away the effects of the sin as well, such as istighfar, such as sadaqa, to ch give charity, such as doing good deeds, in al hasanati yudhibna sayyat because the good deeds, they nullify the evil deeds so doing things doing things to clarify to clear the, uh, the 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 record of the slave and to clear the heart to cleanse the heart because as as we know from the hadith that with with the sin the heart uh, is stained with a black stain uh, and the hadith says that if he continues to do that those black stains increase and accumulate and then they start joining each other until the heart is totally engulfed in black and sealed where this heart will not be able to uh, recognize guidance and light anymore and not be able to uh, actually also uh, expel the evil that's inside it it's totally sealed whatever evil is inside stays inside whatever goodness is outside does not enter to the heart but the hadith says in huwa taba wa aqla wa nadha fa in fa in huwa taba wa aqla wa astaghfar taba wa aqla wa astaghfar uh, then suqila qalbu. Then this heart will be uh, corrected and mended and cleansed again and made to shine, made to shine again. فتلقى أنو ربي كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guided him to tawbah and accepted his repentance. That's another favor from Allah to accept the repentance. Just just like Allah says in Surah Tawbah, وعلى الثلاثة الذين خلفوا. حتى إذا لقد تاب الله على على النبي والمهاجرين والأنصار الذين اتبعوه في ساعة العصرة من بعد ما كان زيغ قلوب فريق منهم ثم تاب عليهم. he mentioned توبة before and توبة after. لقد تاب and then he says ثم تاب تاب ثم تاب which means that Allah guides the person to repent. then the person repents then Allah accepts the repentance. so it's a favor before and a favor after. you follow? نعم. إنه that's because Allah is a تواب. He frequently, tawab means, uh, it's an, it's an emphasis, emphasized uh, adjective um, uh, showing uh, that Allah repeatedly and oft uh, uh, repents and accepts, uh, like accepts repentance from his slaves and guides them to repentance. And ar-Rahim, uh, that the most merciful, we talked about that before. Uh, so his, uh, Allah is tawab because he is ar-Rahim. He is a tawab because he is a rahim. Why does he, why Allah, why does Allah guide his slaves to tawbah, to repentance, and accepts the repentance? Because he is the most merciful. That's a sign and manifestation of his uh, mercy. Just, just like we say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. He is the Lord, the cherisher, provider, and the care, uh, caregiver for the worlds. Why is that? Because he is a rahman a rahim. So that lordship comes a guardianship comes as a manifestation of him being Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Uh, we, we will uh, read just 
how many minutes? Uh, if, uh, see what Imam al-Mawardi, because we haven't gone back to see what he has to say about these verses. We had stopped <coughs> at إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَهُ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ كَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ صَارَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ وَقُلْنَا يَا آدَمُ اسْكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ And we said, O oh Adam, you and your wife dwell in this garden. Uh, his, his, his wife was called Hawa. And that is, they say, because either because she was created from a living person, وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا And that's come from Haya. Haya means life. So that's why she's called Hawa. From Haya, min al-hay, khuliqat min hay, fahya hawa. Okay, that's one saying. That's saying of Ibn Abbas and Ibn Mas'ud. The second, na sumi bi dhalik la naha ummun li kulli hay. Hawa, because she is the mother of every living human being who comes after. You follow? So basically, hawa comes from al-haya, al-haya. Now, the hadith mentioned that she was created from. From a rib of Adam, from part of Adam himself, from a part of Adam himself. Um, the Jannah, we talked about the Jannah. There's two opinions. Uh, one of them, it is the Jannah al-Khult, it is the, the paradise that in the heavens. And the other one, it is a garden, whatever it is, that Allah uh, created for them. Um, منها راغداً. He says, Ragadan al Aishul Hani. Ragadan means easy life, to have uh, uh, easy and comfortable uh, provision. Al Wasa, plenty. Also, Ragadan means Wasa, plenty, comfortable provision. Halal also, everything is permissible for them. Whatever he's made halal is, is open for them. La taqraba hadihi shajara. We talked about that. Different opinions about what kind of tree it was. Al-Burr, Al-Karm, Al-Teen. So many uh, uh, things. Al-Rabi' anaha shajarat al-Khuld al-Lati ta'akul minha al-Malaika. This is another opinion. So they said it could be any kind of tree we don't know. They mentioned certain fruits. But they also mentioned another opinion, which is that shajarat al-Khuld. Because that's mentioned in the Quran. Hal adulluka ala shajarat al-Khuld wa mulkin la yabla. This is the tree of eternity. Tree of Eternity. It says this is a, t- a tree that the angels uh, eat from, and it is a tree of eternity. No. Uh, but of course, the commentator says here, there's no point in, in, in making any kind of decision with regards to the tree because we have no c- clear saying in the Quran or Sunnah stating what country. Fatakuna min al al uh, means trans, uh, the people who have transgressed. Do not eat, otherwise you'll be amongst the transgressors who exceeded their limits. Mu'tadeen, al-zalimeen, tukuna min al-zalimeen. Or zalimeen, zalimeen la'anfusim, wrong themselves. The sin of Adam, uh, they, they said they have different opinions about what kind of sin that was. They said that he possibly ate from it while he was in a state of um, uh, forgetfulness. Uh, the, uh, he forgot that he was uh, commanded not to eat from it. Some scholars said that. That Adam, when he, like the, the, the prohibition was said to him. And of course, Shaitan told him, eat from it, eat from it. But for a period of time, he did not listen to Shaitan. And then he forgot about the prohibition. And he just ate from it. Some some scholars say that. Some scholars say that, uh, but it's not really a strong opinion. Another opinion that he did actually eat from it deliberately, knowingly, and that's the most stronger opinion. Now, otherwise, it would not be, have been called a sin. He would not have been needed to repent, right? He repented from a sin that he did intentionally, right? Oh, uh-uh. ala wajhi ta'wil. That he rationalized. He maybe he said, because some of them said that this hadith shajara ghair mu'ayyana, yeah, this kind of tree. They say, some scholars said that, that Allah prohibited a specific uh, species of tree. So he felt that maybe this species 
but not maybe not this variation of it and so on that we so um, but again we don't have any evidence to support that now um, Uh, uh, maybe he felt that the prohibition was not a strict prohibition possible uh, he says that Allah said uh, that uh, prohibited this kind of trees this kind of trees but not this specific tree possibility uh, or he wanted man, uh, he wanted to to actually um, obtain something Takuna Malik, he wanted to go to a higher degree, to become an angel, and to uh, live like them for, for eternity. Illa an takuna malakaini, aw takuna min al Not that he, it wasn't a sin out of greed, not just for his stomach, not for the stomach, no. He, he felt that he was going to get to a higher level of spirituality. You follow? That is a, a reasonable explanation which I have heard from other scholars before as well. Fazallahuma shaitan wa anha faakhrajahuma mimma kana fi. There's another recitation. He's the only reciter who read it. He, uh, he, 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 means distant. Uh, he distant. Uh, I was looking for the English word. <laughs> means to, he, he dis, uh, take them out. Yeah, he, he took them out. Now. والشيطان أزل لهم هو إبليس uh, and then they differed they said how did he get to them how did he make waswasa how did he um, whisper to them they, they had different opinions on that as well اهبطوا منها اهبطوا بعضكم لبعض عدو and that is uh, all of them uh, Adam وحواء and Iblis بعضكم لبعض عدو who is enemy to who they said Banu Iblis or Banu Adam. The sons of Adam and the sons of Iblis will be enemies towards each other. Now, a place of residence. Mustaqarrun, Mustaqarrun al-Ard Mawdi, a maqamihim. Where you live on earth is Mustaqar. You stay. The earth is, Ja'ala lakum al-Ard Qararan. He made the, uh, the earth a place of stability for you, a place to, to, of residence. Or Mustaqarrun Mawdu Aqubawda Qaburihim. That's a good explanation as well. That منها فيها منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم و و ومن منها نخرجكم تارة أخرى and out of it and from it we will resurrect you one more time we've created you from the earth we will return you to the earth and we will resurrect you from the earth one more time you follow so مستقرون could also mean that 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 this is where they will live and this is where they will die مستقرون كان ومتى عن إلى حين everything you're allowed um, uh, to enjoy and utilize. What is heen? Heen, this is uh, to appoint a time that's either death or qiyam us We will stop here. To what time?